Steve just uh, provided some analysis of our Iowa Iowa State matchup over on the Iowa channel, so check that out. And now we've got the complete other end of the spectrum with USC taking on Stanford. The Trojans can score with anyone. Let's say they can probably score surpassing anyone, but of course the defense is leaky even against the likes of Nevada and um, certainly against San Jose State. Now they've got a matchup in conference against Stanford, a pretty bad football team, but starting out 2-0, uh, or at least with the one victory, I should say, against Hawaii. Uh, Steve, your thoughts on this one? Yeah, went to Hawaii. It's always a tough road trip. And then again, they had the entire month of August to prepare, leave a little early. So they caught Hawaii at the right time. Um, 37-24 win. Uh, Hawaii will be improved this year. And um, Hawaii did not try to run the ball at all. Um, they had negative five net rushing yards when you factor in sacks. So, you know, it was all passing. This will be a totally different attack here. Stanford's going to face a team that can run and throw extremely balanced attack with USC. And as you mentioned, as good as any team in the nation offensively. And that's why they're currently averaging 61 points a game. They've scored 122 points in their first two games. Yet they failed to cover against San Jose State. They gave up the backdoor cover back in week zero with the late touchdown to win by only 28. And then, of course, they blew out a really bad Nevada team last week by 52. And I actually did a preview video for the USC-Nevada game on Wager Talk TV, wagertalk.com, last week. And I mentioned Nevada has no backdoor cover potential, really weak offensive team, inexperienced team. So the question is, does Stanford have enough offense to maybe have that backdoor cover or keep it close? Because I do think USC is still suspect on defense. In fact, they've given up 3.8 yards per rush this year. Those two opponents... Uh, San Jose State and Nevada have averaged 2.8 overall in all their games so far. So USC obviously was a little bit suspect on D last year, could be again this year. And we'll see if that Stanford offense is for real. The 37 points, six yards per play was impressive, but I don't think Hawaii's defense is still at the same level as USC. Uh, database simulation, we run 10,000 game simulations in my database, takes several days. It comes out to USC by 35. Early in the season, I like to play big favorites when we have line value because they usually don't take their foot off the gas. And they do have uh, the buy on deck, by the way. They're at Arizona State and then at Colorado. Who would, who would have thought we keep saying Colorado would be a look-ahead game? Uh, but at Arizona State, at Colorado, but they have a buy next week. Uh, so this game is blowout written all over it. Uh, USC would be the only way I would play it. If you're going to play it, lay the minus 29. Folks, check out Steve's complete work at wagertalk.com. So it's not just predictions, but they're weighted predictions. So there's a confidence factor there that Steve provides. Also a money management system. It's not just college football, the NFL, and all uh, the sports landscape. So join Steve on wagertalk.com. You get his exclusive under the radar selection for us on patreon.com backslash Mark Rogers TV, where Steve went 13 and one against the spread last year and uh, not promising that this year, but uh, Steve's really good at what he does. There's no question about that. So Steve will provide more picks for us exclusively under the radar at patreon.com. Thank you so much, Steve. Thanks Mark. I will promise that we don't go 13 and one again this year, but we're going to try to go 12 and two, 12 and two is the goal. Thank you. (laughs) 